This video review is for the Tuzimi, if I am pronouncing them correctly, Bluetooth stereo foldable rechargeable wireless headphones. And here they are. I don't have the retail box they came in. I kind of destroyed it when I opened this up. Uh, along with this, of course, comes a manual and a pretty nice long micro USB cable and a decent enough aux cable. As you can see, I have in the bag because I have a lot of micro USB and aux cables. On the rare occasion, I need an aux cable floating around so I don't bother them too much. So here are the headphones themselves. And I have this my, my phone camera a little close because I just want to be able to see it. it. Unlike a lot of headphones that I've tried in the past, this has a fabric on it, which actually is kind of comfortable. Uh, I wish the headphones extended just a little bit more, but they, you know, for, I have a, maybe a slightly larger than average head, uh, but they still fit me all right, so I can't complain too much. They are an on-ear pair, and they're actually pretty comfortable. I, I wasn't really too sure, um, as of today when I'm recording this, they're listed at 25 bucks, which is what I got them for, and they do, um... For $25, you know, I was impressed with the quality that you get for the on-ear. You know, everything is price-based. Uh, they have a nice enough look to them. You can get them in different colors. Obviously, I got mine in black because, well, I like black. Um, the buttons and controls are pretty straightforward. You have your power button, your forward and uh, reverse rewind buttons, and, of course, your volume. And on the bottom here, you have your micro USB and your aux jack. Sound wise, I'm not going to say they're great, um, especially if you're going to compare them. I just did a, a pair a review for a $66 pair of headphones and obviously this does not compare to it. Uh, the sound is good. Uh, for the price, I would say it's very good. My only problem with them that I have is I can't connect them to my Fire TVs, which is originally what I wanted them for. I wanted a cheap uh, backup pair for my fire TVs and uh, I've had these for I want to say about eight months now And I have a first and a second gen fire TV and I can't get them to connect to either one I can connect to every smart device I have whether you're talking a tablet an iPod a phone whether it's a newer older generation iPhone it really doesn't matter LG Samsung uh, It just doesn't matter. I can connect to all those but I cannot keep it connected to any type of a streaming box. That includes just a regular old Android box. Uh, so if you're looking for a pair of Bluetooth headphones for some sort of a streaming box, I would definitely skip these. It will pair, but it will not stay connected. I'm not really sure why that is. I haven't figured it out. If I do, I will update this video and uh, say as such. Uh, but overall, if you're looking for a fairly inexpensive pair of on-ear headphones that are comfortable and you have a smart device uh, whether it's an iPod, a tablet, or your phone, whatever the case may be, and you just want to be able to enjoy your music and have good sound and decent battery life, I, I should mention that. Uh, it says eight hours. I've consistently gotten at least eight hours, and it does recharge in approximately two and a half hours. Uh, this is a good pair. Uh, you know, Again, I'm referencing it for the dollars. You cannot compare this, in my opinion, to a 60 or $100 pair because they're not. They're 25 uh, So again, this is the Tuzimi Bluetooth stereo headphones. They're pretty nice, and I think they're very good for the price. Thanks.